Hi, this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and uh, in this week's lesson I'm going to tell you the five important things that you need to know when you start playing harmonica. But before we get to those, if you want to support the channel, then please subscribe, hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you get notified when I upload a new harmonica lesson. Okay, so first thing that you need to know as a beginner harmonica player is that if you want to play blues music, you're going to need a 10 hole diatonic harmonica in the key of C major. Uh, so if you don't know what that is, then click on the, on the little uh, link up here. Uh, there's a, a, a link to my lesson on what harmonica you need to get. So 10 hole diatonic in the key of C. The reason for this is that the majority of educational material out there is going to be on a key of C uh, major harmonica. So that's, that's a really important place to start. Right, next thing that you're going to need to learn is how to hold the harmonica correctly. So let's have a little look over my shoulder and see how you are going to do that. Okay, so when you're starting to hold the harmonica, you're going to hold it in your left hand, right? And you are going to uh, make sure that you're doing a kind of duck face like this. And then you're going to slot the harmonica in with the numbers on the top from 1 to 10, like this. So you're holding it between your thumb and your index finger, okay? And then if you look behind the harmonica, I'm going to put my middle finger so that it's touching the thumb and that acts as a brace to stop it from falling out of my hands. Right, so next step, I'm going to put my right hand thumb over on the right hand side of the harmonica and hold it like this. And that's just going to provide some balance. Make sure that you have two hands on your harmonica at all times. It gives you a lot more control. Okay, so now that you're holding the harmonica properly, the next thing that you need to know about is breathing properly and breathing naturally rather than forcing air through the instrument. The most common issue that I see with beginner players is them playing too hard, too aggressively, with too much passion. And I get it, it's really exciting, you're learning a super cool instrument. But actually, all of those great harmonica players that you see out there are playing so, so gently. Uh, I heard a, a, great, uh, a great description of this from Todd Parrott, who's an excellent harmonica player, who said that you've got to imagine that you're falling asleep on the couch in front of the TV and, and you're just kind of gently just, just breathing really lightly through your mouth. That's how you want to play. So to help you with that, I'm just going to talk you a little bit through diaphragmatic breathing. So let's have a look at me standing up breathing properly. Okay, so it's really important to learn how to breathe from your diaphragm rather than from your chest. So if you breathe from your chest, then you're going to uh, have uh, difficulty controlling the harmonica, you're going to have difficulty getting a nice rich full tone, whereas if you breathe from lower down, if you use your belly muscles to help you breathe, then you'll get much richer, warmer, and more control. <laughs> So how do we engage the diaphragm? So what you need to do is breathe out, empty your lungs, and as you're doing that, pull your belly muscles in. So go and hollow out those muscles there. And then when you're completely empty, release the belly, and that will pull the air down all the way to the bottom of your lungs, which are about here. So your lungs don't end down here, they end here. But the, the diaphragm is the, is the action that pulls the air in and pushes it out. <sighs> Pull your muscles in to breathe out and then release to breathe in. So the way to practice that is to do that by playing chords on the harmonica. So that's, holes, that's three or more holes simultaneously. We'll use holes one, two, and three. And we're going to do draw, so that's the inhale, and we'll do blow, that's the exhale. So empty <sighs> and then just draw naturally. Okay, so 
It'll feel really unnatural to start with, and there's no way that you're going to start doing it naturally in the middle of playing a really complicated blues solo. But if you start your practice sessions with a little bit of work on that, just nice long breathing through the harmonica using your diaphragm, it will eventually become a habit. And you can also practice it even when you're not playing the harmonica. I remember I used to practice this on the bus on my way to school. Uh, so you can do it wherever. You're not going to bother anyone. You might get a few weird looks, but who cares? Okay, so the next big challenging thing that you're going to need to get down, and this is going to take a while, and it's absolutely essential, is learning how to play clean single notes. So what does that mean? Well, we have 10 holes on the harmonica, and quite often when people start playing, they don't play one hole. They don't play, for example, the four hole blow. They end up getting something a little bit more like this. What's happening there is they are playing a little bit of the three hole and a little bit of the five hole. So what you need to do as a beginner is learn to isolate the notes, okay? So I'm gonna very quickly talk you through different ways to isolate the note. Uh, there are three most common ways to isolate the note. There is lip pursing, which is literally making your mouth into a whistling shape so that it is small enough to only play one hole. This is the method that uh, I teach beginners most often. The next way of doing it is something called tongue blocking. So this is where you have your mouth wide enough to play four or three or four holes, but you are blocking the holes you don't want with your tongue and you're playing out of the side of your mouth. So that would be like this. See my tongue is, is over to the side, I'm playing out of the right hand side of my mouth. You can also play out of the left hand side uh, if you're playing lower notes. So that's a, a really, really cool technique for uh, some future blues techniques, but I don't think it's absolutely essential to get started with it. I do tend to teach people uh, as they get more advanced to do tongue blocking. And then finally, the other way uh, to single out a note is something called U blocking. Uh, now, not everyone can do this, but if you're one of those people who can roll their tongues, like that, then U blocking is where you single out a hole by making your tongue into that shape. Now, it's one of the easiest ways to play a clean single note, but I really, really, really don't think you should do it. And the reason for that is that although it makes playing clean single notes easier, it makes everything else a million times harder. It makes bending really hard, it makes playing chords really hard, it makes all of the cool stuff really hard. So do not U block. You can either lip purse or tongue block. And if you want to uh, go in a little bit more depth on lip pursing and playing clean single notes, uh, then I've, I've done a lesson on that. So just click on the little link up here uh, to, to go through to that. All right, the final thing that you need to know is that it takes more than 10 minutes to get better on the harmonica. A lot of people think, this is a nice small instrument, it must be super easy, I'll be able to play it really quickly. And, and it's just, it's not true. The thing that's wonderful about the harmonica is it's quite easy to, to start having fun with it. Uh, there isn't a massive barrier uh, of entry, but it does take more than 10 minutes to get good. But practicing 10 minutes a day is an excellent place to start. So regular practice, regular short sessions will really, really jumpstart your playing. And as you get more confident and you're able to concentrate for longer, you can uh, lengthen those practice sessions. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. If you want me to uh, go in depth with more of this stuff, then just click on the, uh, the link to my completely free four week foundations course for complete beginners below. I'll cover all of these topics in depth. And uh, before you do that, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button. Uh, that does great things for the, the YouTube algorithms. And if you didn't subscribe to the channel, then please subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell icon. That means that you'll get notified when I upload a new lesson and that's every Wednesday. All right, take it easy and happy harping.